Welcome to another exciting edition of Building Better with Building Point America West. Today we're going to be going over one of the new T100 Trimble tablets, uh, some of the new versions and additions on this tablet. Of course, it has the attached radio module, makes repairing and replacing that radio a lot easier. We're going to get into how to install FieldLink. Uh, one of the big things to note about this new T100 is the new tablet bracket. It has a wider clamp zone here, less cracking of your rods is inevitable, which is great. Uh, one really great thing to note here, big, big note, uh, the USB-C is an upgraded slot on this tablet. It does come with an attachment USB-C to USB, uh, but I would go out and grab yourself a USB-C memory stick to use with one of these. It does charge it off of the USB-C as well. It's a lot faster, just one slot there. Of course, it comes with an extra antenna and an extra bracket for the back. Now, if you'll see here, it has one on there and one extra one that it does come with. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get it plugged in, powered up and all that, and uh, show you how to install both the Trimble Installation Manager and, of course, FieldLink after that. All right, welcome back, everybody. I have now powered up my new T Trimble T100 tablet. I have uh, created a Windows login. I've chosen not to use a password. Most choose not to. I've uh, now connected it to my uh, office Wi-Fi here, and I'm going to install the Trimble Installation Manager. Where we go for that is www.trimble.com. T-R-I-M-B-L-E dot com slash T-I-M. Let me zoom out on there so you can see where it's going to take us there. If we go, it does forward you to install.trimble.com. And we're going to ch choose the Windows online version. I'm going to go ahead and run through that install and come back after we're done that. All right, now I have finished installing the Trimble Installation Manager. Uh, we need to make sure we are still on Wi-Fi to run these updates. What you will see now is several options available to you. You need to make sure that the Show All, let me zoom out here a little bit, the Show All checkbox right here is checked and go to the Field Link option under Controller. So those are the things, Controller, Show All, and Field Link. Under there, you'll see that uh, FieldLink as an application for subscription is available to install for all users. Now, if you have a perpetual license of FieldLink, that will be assigned to this serial number. So this will be the serial number you need to su supply to your uh, FieldLink supplier. However, uh, if you have a subscription, annual subscription to FieldLink or FieldLink Office, you will simply be uh, assigned a login to your Trimble ID or your, your work email, uh, which will be the next step to sign in after you have installed. The only thing to check here is at the top right, you have the latest release it, uh, selected. It may not be 6.2, uh, maybe later than that, but just have a latest release selected and hit install down there. Simply run through the accept and next windows and uh, you'll be ready to sign in. All right, so I'm now done installing FieldLink. We do see the icon at the top left corner there. Uh, what I will point out is that, uh, as I mentioned, FieldLink is available for everybody to install as a subscription. So if we now try to launch FieldLink, if we are not assigned a perpetual license for FieldLink, we are given an opportunity to sign into our Trimble account, and that would be ran by our annual subscription uh, uh, signed by your Building Point representative. All right, well, that's it for today. Uh, thanks again. This has been Building Better with Building Point America West. My name is Alex Reitzema. We'll talk to you next time.